it was a gradual process, the transition from working with fabric to paper. And for a short while I was working with both and I found that confusing. When I made the leap to make work exclusively out of paper, I suddenly loved every single item I made. It's been very challenging changing materials, but it has happened over time and it has evolved. And most importantly, I think it's through taking the time to play with the materials that it's happened. A lot of my work is experimentation, allowing myself to make mistakes, which a lot of people don't allow themselves that time. Books and literature have always been a passion for me, so it became a natural source of inspiration. I spent years trying to emulate the qualities of the papers in fabrics, printing them in different ways, and it just got to the stage where it made sense to use the papers themselves. So at that point, they became not only the inspiration for my work, but also the media for it. People always think that the papers are, are incredibly fragile, but actually by working with material for many years, you really do get to know what it will let you do and what it won't. I do have favourites, things that I always come back to. I think the narrative of maps is kind of timeless and everyone can see the nostalgia in them. I love the fact that these maps have had a history and they've been used and they've been folded and they've been loved. I get asked a lot about how can I bear to cut these things up because they're so beautiful but to me I see it as giving new life to things that otherwise would end up in landfill, things that people would throw away. I love the fact that with the lampshades when you switch them on they reveal their secrets. There's areas people don't even realise they're stitched till they, they see them on the lampstand with the light on. I find them very exciting when you switch them on together all the hidden secrets are revealed. What's really lovely about the papers I'm using is people are able to attach their own narrative and their own nostalgia to the work. I enjoy nothing more than searching out and finding treasure within the trash of some charity shops, looking for beautiful items that you know nobody else would buy. It's the book with the dirty cover up that's had food spilt on it. It's the map where it's completely falls apart as you pick it up. That's my idea of treasure when I'm searching for materials. All the objects are three-dimensional recreations of household objects made purely from paper and stitch. People are always surprised when they pick up a receiver of a telephone or pick up a camera that it is a hollow stitched object. It's a common misconception that there is a solid object inside I think I have to love the paper and love the object in order to be able to make it. I think it's important that my work keeps its integrity and that it shows in every single piece that I truly love what I'm doing and what I'm making.